Ahoy there. This is the news. Pop star Pink uh, threw a fan out of her concert for holding up a sign that read, Circumcision is cruel and unusual. Speaking of loose dick skin, today the State Department honored Hillary Clinton. Look at all that. Oh. Look at all that sack meat. Oh, that's Hillary on the right <laughs> that, there? That tip meat. I not tell. I know. She's as pretty as ever. Mm. In brighter news, uh, around 100 people died in a fire at a wedding hall in Iraq. Or as President Obama would call it, another day in the office. <laughs> you know, because he killed a lot of people. In, in weddings. And a lot of, yeah, there was a and, lot of weddings. And got there. a peace prize for it. Yeah. That's right. That too. Okay. <laughs> According to a recent study from Essex University in the UK, transgender children who took puberty-blocking drugs ended up experiencing severe mental health issues. No shit. <laughs> they had to do a study for that mm -hmm. yeah who knew I, I i would have never assumed that kids that were put on puberty blockers would have mental illness well considering baseline puberty you suffer severe mental health issues right oh i don't recall that <laughs> i recall being a good boy very yeah, normal yeah because you were blackout <laughs> drunk through the that's, entire time that's right the whole time yeah, I still grew my pubes. Anyway, hey there, uh, I'm Dave Landau. I'm Gordon Blake Garrett. And welcome to Normal Worlds. Joining us is Angela. Hi. And again today, uh, coming back in as a special guest, comedian, author, uh, minister, uh, please welcome Matt McClowry. Raconteur. <laughs> Sorry, I forget the word. Yes. Oh, thank you for having me. You're in a band with Jack White? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I'm his sister slash ex-wife. Uh, yeah, you, so you play the drums just one. <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> yeah, I tri I play the drums like someone with my ailment. <laughs> so like Meg White? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I met her once. Well, is she lovely? Yeah, she was very nice. Yeah, oh, she okay. seems like That's she would be. That's what I hope yeah. so, you know? Are they brother and sister, or are they fucking? I, I don't know what's going on. Meg, I've always been very Jack confused. and Meg. Yeah, they, they were married. They were okay. Yeah, and I thought then, that was a rumor. It wasn't <laughs> sure. oh, Jack was a Jack's a bit of a badass too. Oh, Jack's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, he was. Uh, I, like, I even like his side bands. Yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. No, they were married, and then uh, yeah, you know, sometimes things gotta gotta you know come to cue an end. The, cue the angry comment. Jack White's a liberal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> you can't like his music. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's just totally pro-vax. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> just listen to music, man. Yeah, I just saying I like Enjoy the him. white stripes. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't think you <he> did. <laughs> Speaking of morons. And music. Uh, Britney Spears spark concern amongst her fans after posting this video for herself dancing with knives. Britney Spears dancing with knives. I started playing in the kitchen with knives today. Watch as she spins around her house, twirling the blades. Don't worry, they are not real knives. Halloween is soon, she tells her 42 million followers. But are the knives actually for real? Listen, you can hear the blades scraping are together. Are they for real? Are they? You know when yeah, she they was they clink. 17, they put a live python on her and made her shake her tits for grown men? Mm -hmm. I think the main takeaway here is that fame is healthy and we should all be pursuing it. Yes. I agree. <laughs> From a young age, a very, very young age. I mean, I just, I, she does a lot of stuff that's erratic, and I think it has to do with the fact that she was famous at a young age. Mm -hmm. And perhaps her psyche may be broken. Mm -hmm. That happens to a lot of people. A lot yeah. of people that uh, get that fame early on, it messes with their brain. Yeah, some even later in life. Well, lucky us. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just feel no like fame when I was a child, sad right? Sad about it. It's like, okay. can you imagine having ugh, like your total mental breakdown just like public, yeah. public for totally everyone? public and a joke to every, like I yeah that would be in Jesus man no, she had that like twenty years ago yeah. yeah well mine's been public well yeah nowadays so all mental stuff. breakdowns are public yeah some of them you just have to get the playback after the shooting yeah. you know yeah mine's <laughs> this was tweet this guy was tweeting out to zero followers here's his manifesto yeah. Mine's public. You just can't pay it enough. I don't get paid enough attention. Which also raises the question whenever that happens. Oh, how'd you find it so soon? Always. Well, because they're always on that list, you know, the FBI list. And they're like, oh, well, he's down here. We just do, didn't do anything about We're it. We're just waiting for him to shoot somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Waiting for always... the event. 
You know. The police were called many, many times to his compound. <laughs> I feel like if you use the word compound, yeah, <laughs> and and you're not a radio show that my friend has, uh, it's it's not. It's Who's not, ironically still being watched by the FBI closely? Who, yeah, who, of course, yeah, has his own issues with that. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably not good if you refer to your home as that because they're probably watching you. Any, we're all being watched yeah. by them. Just call it like a I don't know. Else. Probably not. Not us. Hey, I don't know. We both have pictures of kids on our phone. <laughs> so, actually, all of us do. All of us do. So yeah, I'm sure there's at least my one, children. Okay, one Look. three letter agent. Yeah, there's specific the things I do not it. take pictures of. Like yes, you, it's our first bath. You should take. I'm like no, no. Yeah, you don't. No, want I don't want. That. I don't want from the, from somebody from the CIA. Look, finding that and beating off to it. Yeah, at least it used to just be one guy, at one hour photo. Now it's just half of an agency. <laughs> half of an agency half? that employs pedophiles. <laughs> it's their job to look at it. Yeah. Or it's like, look, I don't want to look at it. I just have to. Yeah. And keep I get it paid to do it. And print it and hold on to it. And distribute it. And mm. to frame it and make more of it mm. yes. with other people's. It's the FBI. Mm -hmm. Anyway, no, I think they're great. That's fake fake uh, knives. Do you believe this? Fake knives, she said. Yeah, you know those that clanging noise party city rubber knives make? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it sounded pretty real to me. <laughs> and whatever ran behind the couch, I don't know if it was one of her children or a cat, but it certainly was bothered as if they were very real. Yeah, she has children? Man. Oh, yeah. Don't you Not in the one? house. Yeah, not anymore. Are they grown? They were being raised by Kevin Federline. Oh, yeah, so they're fine. Yeah. Do they also well work at Burger King like him? <laughs> Remember when they kept finding her lighters? <laughs> like they just take pictures of the kids, mm -hmm. which was fine in the eighties, but not good when there's paparazzi living in your trees. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's sad. I mean, I think they were real, obviously, but it's not the craziest thing she's ever done, or they've made her do. Yeah, I mean, if they're real, she's got skills. She didn't hurt herself. It's her house. Yeah. Gonna dance around those with things knives. around. Dancing. You didn't cut any knives. Yeah, leave her. Leave her alone. Yeah, man, Let what? her have the knives. Like only let the person that has not danced with knives throw the first knife. Like only <laughs> do you do a pile on to talk about how awful she is to be like yeah. we're concerned. <laughs> the TMZ, the reporting is so strange. Like here is Britney Spears dancing with knives. She says they're fake, but are they? We don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Slow no. news day. Yeah. Like here. She's still... I <laughs> We're say. reporting on their reporting of the Instagram post. Double reporting, okay. She's older than me and still... Is she? Not bad. She's still gorgeous, I think. It's not bad. Just a not bad? Yeah. I mean, what, she's what like... You, uh, what do you think? You think you're too good for Britney? <laughs> get, uh, yeah. get it with your not bad. I don't like white blondes. It's, you know, I don't go for... Is them. it their personalities? Uh, they have personality? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. No, some do. Very few. But she's kept it together fairly okay for like a trailer park. Yeah. That's oh, what I liked you're... about her. I don't know. <laughs> talk to me what? when she, talk to me when she has you. dark hair and waits tables at a comedy club. Yeah, then Matt will be interested. <laughs> when she wants to try to get a convicted killer off death row. <laughs> Matt will be like, hey, what's your name? Big problem. <laughs> Thinking about leaving my wife. Or... <laughs> Anyway, so in May, uh, TMZ reported that Brittany has had a long-time fascination with knives. Good God. She uses them often to cut food. Yeah. Anyway, like, <laughs> and even sleeps with them under her bed. I don't know. Maybe she's afraid of an intruder since nobody's allowed to have guns in California. She apparently lives in mortal fear. Oh, I was right. That someone will come into her home in the middle of the night, uh, strap her to a gurney, and take her to a psych ward. Maybe she's just afraid someone's going to come into her house because yeah. she's Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. Which I think is like yeah. a very real possibility. Yes. People well, I think stalk, that you get stalkers and stuff like that. The psych ward part, I mean, like, people have committed her against her. I mean, I'm sure she has, like, PTSD. Well, no, I imagine her default setting is mortal fear, don't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, I remember the shaving her head and beating the crap out of her own car right? with an umbrella. How long ago was that? That was like 15 years ago? Yeah. And I mean, that's how long she's been losing it. Yeah. But imagine the pressure on, on a, a child, because she was in the Mickey Mouse Club, and the pressure on a child and all of that fame and being on magazines and talked about on TV your entire growing up life. Mm -hmm. And then when you're trying to transition from being a child to an adult, 
you have all of that on top of you watching you and constantly taking photos of you as you're getting older and awkward and weird. And then you have, then you put yourself out as a massive pop star. Then you have a whole nother level of people watching you. Yeah, it is a massive amount of pressure. You, you know what they say, there's no atheists in foxhole, foxholes or the Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been funnier if I hadn't effed it up. I know, I got you though. Well, at God. least Dan Snyder wasn't in that. <laughs> no, no, that's a Nickelodeon property. Yeah. He's like, no. okay, here, just do this thing with feet because it'll be funny. It'll be yeah. hilarious, Ariana. Do uh, it. <laughs> just dis- We'll just make the building a big giant foot. Because nothing illicit is going oh on in this God. industry. Yeah. Oh, also, we're going to just realize that. Every single show, you have a, an episode where a kid eats, like, ice cream off their feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Weird crap. They have, I have, they to have all that. I check all the tapes I cut together. <laughs> they, have the, they have all that on Hulu or something like that. We were scrolling through it and hovered over it, and it plays starts to play an episode. The very first thing you see is Dan Snyder. You think maybe they would, like, try to get a, a sketch that didn't have him in it? You think they have all the trigger warnings at the beginning for all the things that are on PC now? You think they'd have one for it with it when there's Dan Snyder at yeah. the beginning for mainly for his victims who used to work there, yeah. but who are the cast yeah. members yeah. ahead of the class, and he wasn't even going for head. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he preferred foot. Yeah, foot. He was a low guy. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. I follow you. Yeah. Isn't he been fired though, or is he still? Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah. He's still there. I mean, he left. I thought oh, he, he left. He's I he was still there. No, he's gone. I believe he's gone, but uh, independently wealthy for the rest of his life. Yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, he came up with like Henry Danger and all those other shows. My son watches a bunch of shows that still have his name. Like on Sweet him. Life with Zach and Cody, all the way through. That's that's Disney. Bro. Recent. Is it? Mm. Did he not do that? Oh, I'm just mixing up all the pedophiles. I didn't watch much of Disney as a boy. Me neither. I, I watched it in the early 2000s. You know? I mean, I watched Even Zach, Stevens, that was my stuff. I watched Zach and Cody, but I was 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I will say Inch he night. produced a bunch of stuff starring Amanda Bynes, and she turned out fine. Yeah. Yeah, she was good. She's doing great. Yeah. Oh. Wasn't she smoking that, like, fake weed that made kids kill their grandma? <laughs> Like, she she's <laughs> some weird age salvia or something yeah it was a weird crocodile i don't know it was always interesting she's muslim now like, isn't she uh I believe she like tra- like not transition what is it called converted converted thank you yeah she converted <laughs> into something stupid yeah <laughs> i'm kidding i don't know what she is now but i thought she didn't she she was in she's the man mm-hmm. huh? yeah she was the last movie you were allowed to do that Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then after that, she became addicted to whatever that drug was because for a minute it was like, "Hey guys, bath salts and whatever this plant is legal," but it turned out it was way worse than if you had just done coke or weed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, salvia. But it was salvia. it was salvia legal at the time, said. so yeah, you can no. just get it at yeah. It's yeah. No, it's fine. My friend did that. He was in recovery and he kept buying everything else. I'm like, dude, that's not NA. You're snorting bath salts. It's not <laughs> NA <laughs> coke. <laughs> And moron. Anyway, you, you know who I'm talking about. You know who yeah. you are. <laughs> Stupid. Speaking of targets, uh, Target, uh, I'm sure you've heard of uh, the store. They're closing nine stores across four states because of theft and crime. I, for one, am shocked. This is racist. I think it is too, because Severely. The, the stores are in uh, the Harlem neighborhood in New York City. Actually, I used to go to that, that Target. Also, Seattle, Portland, and the San Francisco Bay Area. Now, wait a second. What do do all of those cities have in common? Tuck Ocean it. proximity. Ooh. Oh, that's what it is. They're getting messed with with the moon rays making the like the 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 waves. It's also waving their brains, and it's taking them right into Target. Is it knife sales? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that up to the to the audience. Leave that in the comments below. What is the comment? Matt, you look angry. I always look angry. It's true. Well, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and you're projecting because you always are face. deeply angry. I'm always a little angry, yeah. but I'm not projecting on you. You were just looking down upset. <laughs> I just have a, I have a furrowed brow. Yeah. Is that what you call it? Yeah. It's part so. of it. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, yeah. yeah you just got to go, yeah, Google anybody else with this uh, particular affliction, and you'll find that, generally speaking. I'd rather not have to. Did the doctor tell you had furrow brow? <laughs> no. <laughs> your doctor, that's, uh, that's your diagnosis to your mom. Your, your one year old that doesn't cry has a furrowed brow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he looks angry. This one eye that only looks left has a furrowed brow. <laughs> That has nothing to do with it. <laughs> That's a different I just, just picking apart my other flaws. <laughs> connected. It's connected. Well, I mean, I, I, I didn't have them until I got a shot when I was two. Is that true? No. <gasps> oh, wow. Maybe. But it would have been interesting if it was. Oh, man. That scared me for a minute. No, so you were born with it. But your mom wasn't a big drinker. No. My mom didn't drink at all. Yeah, I didn't think your mom drank. She at smoked all. a little before my brother was pregnant, and then she quit. Never started. Never smoked again. Oh, uh, mine kept smoking. Yeah, uh, every day. Mm -hmm. That's the trick. You keep it going. If you stop the nicotine, then it messes the kid up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta yeah. keep the baby small. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. let them get bigger than you, then they're then they get tough. Yeah, you gotta keep them just smaller than the mother. Mm -hmm. That's why I look like this. <laughs> So the store, uh, <laughs> Target, uh, which were they that popular? I don't know. Whatever. Target? Target? Well, in, I'm just well, saying. So that. Target is one of the more like progressive companies. They have the yeah. whole, they had, they had the LGBT area, the they Tuckers. The Target bathing suit. They had mm -hmm. the. So uh, it's weird that they're they're pulling out of these uh, progressive cities. They celebrated. Why are they be doing that? I, well, I, I guess it's extreme. I don't know when your when your shelves are wiped clean, except for all the rainbow merchandise. Yeah, it's when, reparations. <laughs> when you have to lock up toothpaste. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Everything. That <laughs> <laughs> it's like making himself laugh. <laughs> no, I was at him. The fact that they did probably loot the entire store except the trans, except for that kiosk. <laughs> The whole gay section is just left. <laughs> I guarantee you not one person in Harlem stole a Tucket bathing suit. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's Chelsea, right? Chelsea? Uh, uh, yeah, wherever it was, wherever it's not going to be. The good, well, news, the good news is we lost millions. The, the, the bad news is, but the good news is we still have all the Tucket bathing suits and they, them mugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We still have our ally flags that we're able to sell, so don't worry about that, guys. We have yeah. them. We could drape them over the broken windows in the front. It's fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. We're going to keep our stores open in, in terrible areas, you know, where people actually go in and buy. Yeah, and then they have to hire third-party security, so you have soldiers of fortune blocking the target. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you have a guy who wants yeah. to be violent. <laughs> Well, it no. didn't seem to work because this happened after they did that. In these they actually areas? Did that. In these areas. I don't know, man. You got these people. You, you, you've these going people. in. I didn't these mean, people. Like, okay, ads. good. Wow, okay. I Whew. meant thieves. I know we're on the blaze, oh, but jeez. Okay. <laughs> I meant thieves. <laughs> yeah, good. Your face is in the shot for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean. I didn't mean what it obviously is. <laughs> we're going thieves. 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 Yeah, we could, could actually use that Media Matters article for some more for more, some more heat. Yeah, good point. <laughs> it's, it's just what I want. Media <laughs> Matters is just advertising, really. Yeah, that's true. They're really great at that. They're good people. Yeah. I yeah, I, I don't care. Like, fine, take Target down. Who gives a shit. Well, that's part. The thing though is, it's part of like there's I, I don't know the exact number of, of businesses that are doing this, but in Seattle and Portland, like that, they're they're leaving this like Starbucks is leaving, Home Depots are leaving, mm -hmm. Walmarts are leaving. Well, just a, a ton of just regular Lululemon gave the green light to shoplifting too. Really? Yeah. And they yeah, and they were looted, so now you just have gangs walking around in yoga pants. <laughs> so you see on the back they're like, yeah. "Look at me." They fired two young girls for not stopping the shoplifters who were big guys. They fired them? Yeah. Or for trying to stop. Okay. All right. Yeah. That makes sense in our crazy world. What are you stealing from Home Depot? I feel like if you're going out, are that you really a, a building know. your own house? <laughs> They're injured. Yeah, you don't you need to steal cinder blocks from Home Depot. They just show up weirdly. Right. Have you seen some of these uh, these tents that they live in? They're, always They're like triple-deckers, man. 
They're living high on the hog in these things. That's true. You do have to get that somewhere, but I just feel like there's a lot of lumber. Like, what are you really getting a drill? New back door. Yeah, yeah. we got one, guys. Got to bust it out. Got it. It's weapons. It's weapons. It's weapons. It's weapons. Axes, hammers. Those little rocks you could put keys in. Yeah. Garden Those shears that I do. Those are great for holding fentanyl. A man. Put all my little pills in there. You got a dancing Santa for your lawn. Yeah. Frankenstein in an electric chair. I don't That's think true. they have lawns, though. I do. I buy those fun lawn. ones because my son likes them. I like to buy the fun Halloween stuff. I'm like, you go and get like, whatever. Yeah, we get it all blown up. You know, you have that giant uh, skeleton in so Home Depot? I want that. The one that's like so 30 bad. feet tall? We should get that for the studio. I agree. It's almost spooky season. It's it next is. week. What did you say? Spooky season. Are you talking about the looters again? It's, it's June. <laughs> We're at the blaze. They probably have an actual skeleton. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> and it's it's a very it's famous like, person. Yeah. What who hit Hitler? One it's Hitler's hit. skeleton. Hitler skeleton. I was gonna say Dr. Mangula. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not Hitler's skeleton. It's the it's, body that they believe is Hitler's skeleton. An experiment. But Hitler's skeleton's really in Argentina. Oh. So uh they they they're streaming this now? Our show? I hope not. <laughs> 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 it, was that part of the deal streaming the show? I didn't think anybody was watching. <laughs> They're not. Yeah. No, just, <laughs> good. Do this for <laughs> the paywall. <laughs> this has been terrible so far. All right. So <laughs> if I didn't have a show, I'd say restart it. <laughs> like to apologize to anyone who's listening. So anyway, if you want to steal, go to Apple, Lululemon, Foot Locker. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole list of places you can get because I guess they just don't stop you anymore. No. So you just leave. Yeah. Just go in, take whatever you want, and go. To, I, unless you're me, I go in and I'm like, can I get these size 11 Jordans? And they're like, we don't sell those, sir. It's like, of course, you don't have my size. I couldn't even steal my size. They don't have size 11s? No, yeah. they never do. 10 and a half and 11 seem to be the hardest ones to find. You tell them, Matt. That's, their, that's your ad read for the day. Go <laughs> steal at those stores. Yeah, well, that's, that's they're paying me to put that. Yeah. Right, promo code sure. normal 20 on a brick. George Soros is our uh, <laughs> sponsor today. <laughs> yeah, speaking of uh, ad read, could we do? Don't we have one? Do we? Yeah, we might as well just get this out of the way. Oh yeah. I mean, I should say it's paying the bills I time. Let's go. Way ad read time. Vladimir Putin. What? What? He called the U.S. dollar's drop in dominance objective and irreversible. Oh, no, that's bad. I, I believe it is. Those are negative I, things. Not sure. But I will tell you this. Gold is good. You know why? Because it's always going to maintain its value. I'm wearing a gold chain. Garrett's wearing a gold one. chain. Matt actually looks like he should be wearing a gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> I should be at a rumble with some socials. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> He's going to go do a dance-off knife fight with somebody <laughs> later. But anyway, as the demand for the dollar weakens, and boy, does it, mm. the buying power of the dollar weakens. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we moving that in a way? Can you just let me read it? <laughs> Birch gold. Okay, look, gold is good. It's not going to waver like the dollar. Birch gold. You put your money in there, you get gold. That's what it does, okay? And you can you can use promo code NORMAL. You text that. 98, 98, 98. Look at all those 98s. You text it, you get it. It just lets them know that we sent you because we like to be known for sending people to gold. They also have an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. That's good, too. Yeah, it is. You know how hard that is to get? It's, it's hard. The top, that's the top rating. There's not any ratings above that. No, A plus is as high as it goes and as hard as it gets, which is my nickname. High as I go mm. and hard as I get. Gold. You could get that on a gold chain if you get birch gold, and then you melt that into a form, and then you make a gold chain out of it. You know they used to go to California. A lot of work, but used to mine for gold. Uh huh. You don't have to do that now. You know what you don't. have to do. Just text NORMAL to 989898, and you're going to get a free info Boom. on gold. You don't have to deal with going on a wagon with a bunch of your families where three of your kids die across the West. Then you got to eat them. Yep. Yeah, they that's the worst. They got dysentery. I know. He got dysentery. dysentery. He got the Donner Party. 
And then you got to shift through all Then some of it's fool's gold. Yep. And then you got to kill an old prospector because you're just taking his gold. You don't need any of that. You let him find the vein. That's right. And that's us. We're the prospector. We found the vein. And you can kill us to get the gold. 98, 98, 98. Get all your information you need on killing old prospectors <laughs> from Birch Gold. <laughs> Are we moving forward in this? I don't was that, know. Was I, that a long enough uh, ad read? Yeah. I, I don't know. I think that worked. Uh, yeah. Was, that was good. Was that was great. That's one we've ever done. That was, uh, yeah. High top tier. A plus, I would give us. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. I thought it was good. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. You pulled it off. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Because I, I, well, I do appreciate them being a sponsor. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And I think it's gold. I mean, it's not that hard to sell. I think people who don't buy gold, it's like, what are you going to buy? Stock? I heard I heard the prices like legitimately outside of the ad read. I think I the prices are about to go up. In the stock market or in the mm, gold? In market? the gold market. Exactly. You know what's not gonna go up? What? Your portfolio? Mine? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you, I'm you told me you did the aggressive portfolio. I did do an aggressive portfolio. And you're living the you're living, I'm living. Rocky Five in real life. How's your portfolio you got from opening for me? <laughs> I did. I will have you know, I didn't get it from you. I got it from marrying my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. You've done this all on your own. So, <laughs> well, at least give me credit for the 15 years I spent banging my snout at every festival. On the glass ceiling. I always give you credit. I know. I'm making jokes. I know. It's touchy today. I know. I'm not touchy. Like you got. Looks like you got your your shop looted. I did. A meatball. <laughs> I had a Target I used to go to, and I went there today, and it was gone. You boarded up. I went in there, and I was like, I was gonna get fish. What sticks. the heck? Or dinosaur nuggets. <laughs> what, yeah. what were you gonna say? That's cruel. You're laughing at <laughs> nothing. I just. Yes, I won with an aggressive portfolio. I just think it's funny. Which when... also grow, goes aggressively down. <laughs> <laughs> so buy the dip. I'll tell you. Dip it. The other night, sitting in, sitting in, inside my house, right, mm -hmm. contemplating life insurance, how long you've had it to where you can kill yourself, and <laughs> so it's okay for your kid. And you're just doing the math, and you're mm -hmm. like, so how do you, do you get to the, you're like, he'll get this amount of money, and I'll finally be at peace. Have you ever been there? <laughs> Can't say I have. No, no, no it's an honest talk here. No, but I was trying to talk my friend down from it. Yeah, who? <laughs> I don't know. Is just some guy? Hypothetical. Yes. So let's say you have this. Uh, you, you have depression. <laughs> yes. And uh, you didn't buy gold. <laughs> so now you're just sitting uh, there wondering, ah, what, what's it all worth? Because uh, it's not the worth... the calculator what, out, figuring it out? Yeah, it's not worth what you once had. So you're sort of wondering, yeah, you know, maybe what's the best way to do it? Just make a pill margarita? But, you know, that's what... <laughs> you might find out, though. Do you still get the money, though, if you offer yourself? Because some plans... Uh, actually, that. some that you've had since birth do. Unfortunately, I do have a couple of those. So thanks, Mom. My dad had them, but had. then uh, the housing bubble burst. <laughs> I never even saw them. <laughs> That's probably just because your brother knew you were an idiot and took all the money. <laughs> Not Dane Cook. <laughs> no, that was stepbrother, blood brothers. <laughs> now, my brother sold our, our mom's house after she uh, left peacefully. Nice. <laughs> No, really, I'm not t today. Been going through a bit of a depression, though, for yeah. about a, a good <laughs> About 41 week. years. Roughly 41 years. <laughs> I've had a couple good days. Uh, yeah. Usually when I'm hanging out, with, hanging out with my son, playing catch, watching him play baseball, uh, not, um, not having ever moved to New York five years ago and making different life choices would have mm. been, oh, much better. <laughs> but no, it's cool, because every break I've been able to have through my career Mm -hmm. uh, it's just turned out to be absolute, complete and utter bullshit. <laughs> One time you told me success is punishment. It is punishment. Kind of. Because then they it's know who bit. you are and then they're bot. I just, I hate, I, f I just, ugh. Well, that's the reality at this point, too. Don't you feel like, because I never even wanted to be famous, because when we started, road comics could make 
we could eke out a living anonymously, but now fame is just a means to an end. Well, now fame is what people want to aspire to as opposed to actually the art. Yeah. Yeah, kind of fame. Everybody has it. Oh, uh, what art? Yeah. What art anymore? Well, there's no art. People are famous for watching art and making shitty comments about it. Well, that's exactly it. There's nothing. Hey. You can... I'm glad my dad died before he found out what a Twitch stream. <laughs> Sorry, Garrett. Yeah. You bastard. You're right. <laughs> No, I, I've, I always, I've, I've often wondered, I'm like, did my parents die early or did they just get raptured? And that was the way that they showed it. Because there's so many They're good, gone. gone, decent people. My mother definitely got hey. raptured. Yeah. I, I guarantee you that. It goes in waves. They rapture yeah, people. She was a waves. wonderful woman. <laughs> At the end of your life, you get raptured. And she didn't, she really did nothing to deserve what happened to her, but she wouldn't have deserved to live through any of this either. No, it's how my mom was. Yeah. She didn't deserve what happened to my dad and to her, what was happening to a lot of people in my life. But then it's like the idea of having to live through what this is now, it's like I wouldn't even want her to be like, hey, mom, this is what comedy became. It's a bunch of shit on the internet where people make TikTok videos. And I guess I should have just showed my taint for three <laughs> seconds ten years ago on some yeah. Chinese fucking <laughs> get millions of views. We we have friends who never sold tickets, but then a girl lip synced one of their bits and that gave them a slight bump. <laughs> right. Or we have friends that never sold tickets and then quit and then got mad at me because I kept going. <laughs> Those are the people I really enjoy. They're mad at you because they Stick didn't. Stick it to it. Because you didn't fail on their terms. Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, you wouldn't want to do better. It's not like I helped you. That's the best part is when you help someone through their career and then they treat you like crap. You're like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to help put food on your table. <laughs> I was just joking. Jeez. <laughs> He's in the room. I was trying to be funny. I thought Matt left. <laughs> I was trying to make it a good show. I, I thought I heard I thought I heard somebody too in the late, room though. eating a <laughs> train is left. Eating a foot long with their feet. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously like I don't mean to be this jaded. I'm just I've had a very angry two weeks. <laughs> Lots going. No, it's fine. Yeah, I just, it's I, real, bro. I just am tired of people's bullshit, yeah. and I hate to be that blunt because I know we are a Christian conservative network, but there are times where I just want to say, like, it's, it's, uh, it's enough. I'm so, it, it, like, it'd be nice to at least have the level of fame versus the <laughs> level of fucking annoyance. Yeah. You're at the level where you still have to look at stuff. And you've, have you've, been yeah. for so long. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah. Then when I, I got big enough to do a tour, oh boy, did that pay off. <laughs> You're oh, a big what, shot now, wasn't boy. That, wasn't that worth it? No. I had a fun year and a half. <laughs> boy. <laughs> I think the wrong day to stop sniffing glue. <laughs> and it's like the worst part is don't don't even hate the guy. <laughs> It's like just wanted to work, just wanted just to be, to, wanted to have fun. Yeah. But everything has to be a fucking problem. <laughs> when all you want to do is do your job and make fucking, you just want to enjoy your life and just do comedy mm -hmm. and get along with people and have somebody who you think is your friend uh -huh. and then they're not because everything's got to be a damn dick measuring. Sorry, it's like, so half of you probably just turned it off. And just That's too late. tweeted, I'm praying for you. <laughs> so nobody's made it this deep. So, <laughs> you thought this was a bad episode. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm loving this. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> so it's like you look at that and it's like when you do care about somebody, so then you have to try to get away from it because you do care about other people, you yeah. know, yeah. like my friends, yeah, who you actually have and you've cared about your whole life. And it's like you try to be a decent human being. You fight every single day for it. And then you still end up where it's like every day is just somebody twisting the knife or being a complete piece of crap to you. And it's fucking draining. And it's if it's not if it's not online, dealing with bookers, dealing with people, dealing with your job, dealing with anybody in your life, even if it's like, even if it's like a spouse, not you, a spouse. <laughs> Or anybody, you know, it's like just 
a, a five minutes of peace, it's like, why do you like dogs so much? Because they don't fucking annoy me. <laughs> they love you. They just love you like for dogs. no reason. And it's the rarest relationship in the world to have something that just cares about you. Sure, you have to give it food. But and you got to do that with everything. <laughs> like, you got to pick it, up its shit. It's just like, I think the world is shit, and we did it to ourselves. We did it to ourselves with the internet. I've always felt that way. All we do is we watch these short videos. We we choose teams on who we want to be our leaders. We don't have leaders. Who are your leaders? Who have you voted for that you consider to be a good leader? Honestly, who's a leader? Biden? Are you shitting me? Like, how do you even look at that and pretend that that's a realistic thing? Every single government official has never... Has never well, you have an interview with Barack Obama saying, if I could be in the basement operating a guy with a microphone, I would do that, and we're supposed to believe he's not? Well, exactly. And, he, and what really bothers me is why I got into this when it's like, I hate when you say one thing that differ, you know, that goes away from somebody's opinion right, or yeah. anything else. You, you were talking about we that yesterday, about that, yeah. and you you talk about that, and somebody's just like, "Oh, well, you're a liberal. You aren't conservative enough for me." If you're full blown whatever, your hero, your hero was a liberal until he was seventy. Right, that's very true with Trump. Yeah, yeah. until yeah, he like was a, a fucking year before. Democrat until he had to go onto a different ticket. I don't know how to tell you that, yeah. but it's the truth. It doesn't mean that I didn't like a lot of the stuff he did, like mocking everybody on stage who was a who was a lifetime politician. For that's me, why he's very entertaining. That's what I enjoyed. That's why I voted for him because of that. Yes, because he insulted people who deserve to be insulted. Yeah, that's finally. what I enjoyed. And that's the problem, though, is like people when people look at me and go, you got red pilled, Dave. No, the government killed my parents and my dad. I've been mad for a long time, yeah. roughly since I was about 13. Well, it's also they talk about red pilling like I've moved more to the left than I was when I was an 18 year old in 2004. I would never support the Iraq war now. I would never vote for George Bush now. Yeah. I'm a lot more open about gay marriage. And so is everybody else in the Republican Party. But now that there's a, 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 a an end uh, what do you call it? A, you know, now that there's a populist wing of it, all of a sudden this is dangerous. Because it right. threatens the established order, all right? If if it was still the Bushes, no one would care. Because no. that would be the same thing that we've been dealing with no, for that means decades. George Bush and John Kerry were in the same frat. Yeah, because it's all been the same thing. It's an illusion. It's a play. And it's the same as... Matt has a uh, a picture of him... I think he's like six. He's <laughs> opening a I'm, Rush I'm, Limbo. I'm Eleven years old, 11. wearing a Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Eleven years old, wearing a Beavis and Butthead shirt. Where I'm opening a Rush Limbo book for my birthday that I asked for. You were born outside the Matrix. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is a guy who's always stuck to his guns on something. Yeah. And I and the common thing that people say is I've always felt a certain way, and everything kind of just shifted. And you kind of feel like as a comic you want to say that, but it's like I haven't ever. It's like if I were if 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 I if I could be a liberal in comedy, don't you think I'd choose the path of least resistance? Right. That's the easiest thing to do. And you know how much of a pussy I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, and that's the problem. Yeah. It's like I didn't want like. I don't. Why would I trust any of that? No. Why would I trust it? I've got. Well, it's through, the I've thing where, through, where like, in different. 2016 it went from punch a Nazi, and all of a sudden yeah. 2020 rolls around 2021, and it's uh, arm and fund Nazis. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like that's how you have through that time. I've got you have John Stewart at Disney World giving a guy with a Nazi tattoo an award. <laughs> well, we insane. Have Canadian Parliament. Yeah. Applauding a literal Literally. Nazi. Literally. <laughs> right. Of course. It is crazy. Sorry, you went through it. No, no, no. I, I was going to say, like, I, I was born outside of the Matrix, right? Uh, my parents are very, uh, I don't want to say very conservative, but they listen to Rush all the time and uh, it definitely voted that direction. And I, was, I grew up uh, in a Christian house. So I've always been more to the right. Mm hmm. And, and then I got kind of, I don't want to say they use the word radical, but kind of more radical about like actually paying attention to it and being very like conscious of, of the propaganda that seems to be pushed from the left side and being very against all of that. And then I, I, I started working in the, 
and the media around the, the right. And I seem to kind of gravitate away from that now because I've seen how it can affect your brain. Like it mm -hmm. can literally, and I'm me included. I'm not talking about people that I see on the internet, even though I am talking about people I see on the internet, but I'm talking about myself. Like I get overly fixated on this event and then that event and then I get super pissed off and then I want to black pill on everything and go well it's all fucking it's all a play and I never nothing matters anymore and that's why recently and you know I left the show and well that's the thing stuff because of that I was like I need to get away from this and getting away from that let me kind of remember what actually matters which is like yeah. my family my friends my the people that i affect around me those things the stuff the that thing influences you, you and you can't influence right. in a direct way and it's ironic that we were talking about britney spears because everybody wanted to free bit me and maybe that wasn't such a good idea but the thing was that you're on the internet you don't know this person you don't know what's really going on in their right. life you don't see all of the yeah. other things who who are you to decide what's best for them well, and half these people, it's like, you don't know what's best for you. Right. Look at the look at the country. You look around and you go, oh, this is a bunch of people who are doing their best. Are you shitting me? Right. We're a fucking joke. <laughs> we are. This country is shit compared to what it once was. Mm -hmm. And you can talk about its ideals. You can talk about where it should go. But it's nothing compared to what it is. And I'm not talking about long ago. I'm talking about the 90s. Yeah. We're a joke. We're morbidly obese. We're dumb. We have a terrible public education system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we sit there and rah, rah. Like, how much longer are we going to be proud of being so fucking stupid? That's it's, what it's I don't the, understand the about this it. country. And yeah, it is. It's the memory and the idea for it. And I respect the soldiers that have fought for the freedom, but we don't even understand that the people we the people who, who are out there with freedoms don't even understand the blood that was shed for that. Because right. now we want to hide that We're from kicking people. out veterans, literally in New York City, kicking in, out veterans in hospital from from old folks' homes to put in refugees from other countries that have passed the border illegally. And like to make, we live in a fucking clown world. And to make room, yes, for illegal immigration, illegal immigrants. We're getting rid of people. And not only that, yeah. Well, and now you have the people, to, people who spill blood either. for this country who are suddenly a threat to it. Well, yeah. It's it, like, exactly. I don't... Then if you, if you make the, the, the argument that we shouldn't be housing illegal immigrants and we should be housing the veterans, then, oh, you don't care about... Well, no, it's, you have a bunch of people who, who are suddenly a fence. problem to the government no. because they don't want to be cannon fodder for it anymore. Right. Well, exactly. And we sit here and we, we talk endlessly in circles about mental health. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are we going to do about mental health? What are we about the homeless problem? Shut the fuck. Like, okay, look at Skid Row in LA that we've talked about a mm -hmm. bunch of times. In 2002, that was one block. In 2012, it was four. Now it's the entire it's the fucking city. city of LA. You don't give a shit about anybody being mentally ill. You don't care about it at all. You don't care about stopping cartels and stopping China from bringing fentanyl here and wiping people out. You don't give a shit about mental illness. You don't even give a shit about them with the SSRIs mm -hmm. that work so well, by the way, that it makes you want to knock out a window at Mandalay Bay and blow out a country music festival because that stuff is so good for your brain to help make you happy again. It's all <laughs> bullshit and everybody who stands up on a stage who's saying that they want to change everything and make it better they don't they want your money they want your vote they want to lie to you they don't want anything to change they don't they've promised the same bullshit for the last 20 years nothing has changed it's only gotten worse stop worshiping these false gods no one did a fucking thing for you in the last 10 years. No one. Put on your dumb fucking red hat and walk around and talk about, I want to make America great again. What was so fucking great about that four years? The virus, the shutdown, everybody losing their jobs, the fact that now he might be indicted. We don't know who's actually going to be inside being a president. Who? Who? Now we have, we have a guy who's practically dead as the president of the United States. And why? Yep. Because Hillary didn't get voted in the way that the elites wanted her to. Because of a fluke. 
So what are we doing? We got people's hearts exploding from probably, uh, which I'm sure nothing to do with Pfizer. Yeah, nothing at all. At all. We, that's not been proven in large hearts. No one gives a shit about it. It's all, a, you want to change? Like, look at Warren Buffett. He goes, you want to change the budget? Tell them that they all lose their jobs if they don't figure it out in 24 hours. They'd figure it out in 24 hours. They need to have the problem so they can have the money. You're the money that they need. They don't give a fuck about me. They don't give a fuck about you. And they didn't give a fuck about my father. Yep. So if that's red pilled, fine. I'm red pilled. But it's not. It's sad because this country fucking matters. And we don't give a shit about it. And we have no gratitude for it. You're right, man. We're going to be at hyenas in an hour. <laughs> yeah, we have a comedy show. Get that out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think it's important to do this stuff because, like, with, with doing a show, you you talk about all these silly stories and whatnot, and you then you end up talking about things you don't really care about. Like a lot of things, I I don't give. <laughs> what is somebody going to say? We're on a conservative network. We can't have anger. <laughs> you can't have that. Get down. <laughs> But well, we can't have it towards certain people because half the people I just said it about be like, but I, then but, they get mad. Eh. Right. Yeah, because you don't agree with me on it. Fine. Then use your vote because you don't use your fucking head. You you can't have serious conversations, real conversations, because then we end up being in this. Let's talk about this story or that story or constantly pushing that that same kind of direction. Because if you ever deviate in any way, then your audience gets mad. The people around you get mad and you can never actually just have a real conversation because that's what people do. You talk about things. You start to learn the differences that you believe and you disagree with and what you agree with. Like not they I bet a, a, a ton of people and I do this too. Again, I'm going to use my my I statements, right? I will watch a show, see one person on that show saying say something and go, why well, everybody on the fucking show. Mm -hmm. Of course, they agree wholeheartedly with that one statement from that one actor mm -hmm. right yeah i don't agree with everything that dave said but i agree with a lot of it and i think that's it's it well, is important part. To, no, i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> fuck you no, it's it is good to to the manga crowd does need to have a lot of uh retrospection because they don't seem to do that ever and i agree with a lot of stuff i i like so trump why I, I like I said I voted for Trump. I thought he he did really great with the economy. He was he gave really great Fauci with, an award on his last day. Right. It was the end of his campaign that was really <laughs> he's, trash. He's criticizing DeSantis from the left. So, amen. It in the, the the sense of if you support Trump, you can never criticize him in any way. That needs to end. Yes. You need to be able to criticize him because he's you know, he is great in a lot of ways, but he is also bad in a lot of ways. Like he he allowed a lot of the COVID restrictions to come in. He was the president at the time. Sorry, you got to deal with that. Yeah, roughly all of them. He's barely, re barely ready to admit that that vaccine might not have been so great. And he after still all. has not yeah. done that. So it, well, retrospection, no even if you support him, issue. retrospection, you got to assess yeah, and without getting, and I just feel that level of anger because I've just watched so many people lose everything. Yeah, I've watched, I've watched me lose things. I've watched, it's become unbearable. And the fact that you can't have a conversation with people because they well, take Trump is so divisive. He's ruined friendships where neither person voted for him, <laughs> and where both people voted. That's true. For him. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's like same thing. I have friends I don't talk to because it's like I didn't vote for him in 2016, but I don't think everything you're saying about him is true, and right. we don't talk because of that. Yeah, it's like you don't dislike him enough. Yeah, exactly. And all of a sudden, I'm not your friend, you know, and it's it, and I, all of a sudden I'm a Nazi when you're supporting arming and funding Nazis. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. And that's what I don't, I don't grasp that. I don't grasp why we can't have a conversation or criticize somebody. Yeah. And especially if you're going to be somebody who is, and I say this, of any kind of person, I was raised Catholic, Christian, religious, whatever, you know that you can criticize somebody, yeah. right? I'm Catholic. I yeah. don't, I, we don't worship Mary. No. I, like, or saints. Yeah, I know. Like, I don't believe you. <laughs> so, so like, why, why would you not look at somebody who, I don't know, 
had a hit, golden toilets and shit, and gold is pretty like, rad. Think that, like, why would you think I could that get a like toilet, Saddam I would have Hussein, a golden toilet? I'm sorry. Why do you think a multi-billionaire has your best interest at heart all the time? It was to shake up a system, and I, what I loved is the fact that he did it. But the fact that you won't let it go is not only getting him in more and more trouble. It's causing these three-letter agencies to become more and more powerful, and it's they're like they're digging their heels in. Harder, and then I I hear these things where you have these knee jerk things where they go, well, you're getting uh, Trump fatigue syndrome. What? Stop just quoting stupid shit. They put fatigue look at on it. everything. Stop putting names on everything. Then these these phrases that you can repeat. Use your own head. He's not a savior. Nobody is a savior. The only thing that you can control is your own part. Try not to be a piece of shit to the people in your life. And I've already had to deal with the fact that so many people in mine were to me. People who I loved and respected. That's a problem. If you can't, it's the clean your house thing Jordan Peterson says. You're not going to save the fucking world. It's a mess. Why can't you save yourself? You can't even wash a dish and you're going to talk about what you're going to do with the country? You can't do shit. You can't even take care of yourself. Fix small things at a time. Try to better yourself a little bit. I have... I'm not great at it usually, but I have made (laughs) giant strides compared to the person that I used to be. I've seen it. Yeah, you that's know how, who that's I used how we to get be. out of this darkness, right? There's a lot of people that want to black pill and say that we're in this clown world and it's never going to get any better. It's only going to get worse. And the way you fix it is by being a better person, by improving yourself slowly. Cause th- think it, think about the entire government and in our USA as a person. It, it's in a really bad spot right now. And what you just said, you you can we can fix it. It's going to take a long time, but it's going to it takes moments where you slowly get better and better and you only do that by being yourself being a person that wants it like what what is the the, well, the thing is it becomes a be, way of be life the change you want to see i know yeah, it's it like oh it's cheesy gandhi stuff yeah, it's true be the change you want to see if you want to see the people around you the city around you care more about the people Care more about people. The United States is a crackhead getting double teamed behind an abandoned blockbuster. Yes. We're not doing well. Yeah. And it had so much promise and showed so much promise at one time. Yeah. And not long and it could, ago. And could again, too. We're, we're, we're kind of. It's more like a porn addict, though, really. If you think <laughs> about it. Yeah, yeah that's true. Because, <laughs> yeah, we're just clicking a pellet thinking that it's giving us the same. Right. Yeah. You used to just beat off with your hand, and now you're looking at porn in one and beating off with the other, you know? And driving with your knee. Yeah, and driving with your knee. Well, we do have to wrap up today. I have no idea if this is actually going to go on YouTube. (laughs) That That would be awesome. I don't know if it will. That would be great. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've said enough things to get pulled by the FCC. fuck it. Uh, But, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm sure Pfizer. Pfizer, we don't believe that your (laughs) stupid fucking... You're constantly poisoning us. Yeah. No, we don't, because we're not doctors, and we would not know. We would not know. I think a lot of 17-year-olds... Yeah, but a tight end dating tra- uh, <laughs> dating Taylor Swift would. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Said Travis yeah, Swift. Say, they're going to have a... She's going to have a great song about her dead boyfriend coming up. <laughs> so anyway... Heart stop. <laughs> Heartbreaker. <laughs> so take her. <laughs> Sorry, wrap this up. <laughs> Uh, this weekend, you can see me. Uh, I'm not in tomorrow. I'm going to be traveling. Uh, Garrett will be taking over oh, yes. the show. But it's probably a good thing as I'm <laughs> slowly cracking. <laughs> slowly. Uh, this weekend, you can see me at the Carson City Nugget. Uh, that is September 30th. And then, of course, March 23rd, 2024, you can see me LSQ in the UK, baby. Ooh. See me there. And also, uh, it's not written on there, but October 6th. Lexington Music Theater and October 7th, Bay City uh, State Theater, Michigan. Both are in Michigan. Uh, please come by. Uh, there is a 95% chance I'll still be here. I don't like that 5%, Dave. That's you can find me on Friday Night Tights on Nerdrotic People and Nerdrotic Live and my channel. And on Adam Crickler's channel because we do a show there on Monday. Based out. Watch it. It's fun. 
we do this every once in a while, actually. Get kind of introspective, get a little dark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk about life. My head hurts. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like Matt? it. I'll be headlining One Night Stands in Waterford, Michigan, October 5th through 7th. Come and talk to me later, and I'll tell you Dave's actually doing okay. (laughs) (laughs) Matt is my best friend. (laughs) You're my best friend. He knows that I am fine. I've just had some things. (laughs) Although if if this lump they found is cancer... I'm fine with it. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not. I know. I know. I love my son more than yes. life itself. Yeah, you have to be I here. Be, I well, got to be here for him. I would never do anything because I I love him more than anything in the world, as good dads do. Mm-hmm. I love my daughter more than anything in the world. You do. Too. You're an excellent father. You took, he's an excellent father. Oh, thanks, man. She's an excellent mother. And I like the costume. All got kids. What? I have to say, you guys are all fantastic dads. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now it's starting thank to you. seem like you're lying. Well, you're okay, but <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Dave are truly. Yeah, yeah, but he's spread so. more thin than we are. So. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, yeah. yeah, I got four. So. And you have four to juggling. Yeah, I mean, you only love so much. You know? They can't yeah. all. <laughs> only have so much to give. <laughs> I'm from a family of four, I know. Yeah. I know we know the odd man. <laughs> the kid with the eye patch who got Rush Limba. <laughs> your dad loves you. The no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I guess yeah. I shouldn't say that if your family's watching. They both. I think your dad I'm loves sure you. they have a group text I'm not in. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm yeah, definitely but. getting a text from my grand going like, is Dave okay? Dad, <laughs> uh, you your, your dad loved you. So. Oh, he sure did. Oh, he dad. did. God bless These him. These people He's at the show tonight, I have no idea what they're in for no when they idea. get home to watch the... <laughs> No, <laughs> the episode well. after the show. Oh, we gotta go. I think we'd be. So- oh, we do we have to go. go. Oh God! Oh. All right. Well, we go. have to go to a show. I. Uh, so we're all gonna be there. <laughs> um, yeah. See you there. Bye. Bye. <laughs>